The Lovable Leader took me nearly five years to write. I poured my heart and soul into every page, and equally as much love went into this audiobook version. It is my genuine hope that this book changes how you lead forever. This book is written primarily for new managers, though seasoned managers may also learn a thing or two, especially if putting people first hasn't always been at the forefront of your mind. As someone who reads a lot and loves a great, actionable, nonfiction book, I tried to arrange this book to be worth coming back to again and again, like a handbook. There are multiple frameworks throughout this book, and to make things easy, each chapter concludes with a lovable leader cheat sheet that includes the key takeaways and frameworks. So you know when a cheat sheet is coming, every cheat sheet will be immediately preceded by this sound. Now, before I tell you about the various bonus materials that come with this audiobook, I need to state a few things clearly for the record. Even though a lot of this will be evident in the text, I need to call out a few things, just to be sure. One, leadership transcends business. I wrote this as a business book because that's typically where leadership books go, and it's where most of my real-world experience comes from. That said, I want you to take all of the concepts in here and imagine I'm talking about anything in life where you want to have stronger relationships, communicate more effectively, and accomplish more while doing things with others. As you go through this book, try to look for the lessons that are underneath the examples. Two, pay your people. Even though I don't talk much about money in this book, I don't want you to get the wrong idea. Everything in this book takes for granted that when discussing leadership in the context of business, you are paying every single person in your team enough money to easily afford food, water, shelter, healthcare, vacation and leisure time, and still have something left to save for retirement and or college. No one should be working full time and still struggling to afford the cost of living. No amount of communication mastery, conflict resolution techniques, or strategic planning methodologies will motivate or engage people who are struggling to make ends meet and being exploited by the company for profit. If you can't pay your people fairly, then nothing in this book can help you. There is no substitute at work for a fair wage. Three, productivity is not the point. I didn't write this book to teach strategies and methods to get your employees or team members to be more productive, work harder, or work longer hours. While that may be a byproduct of this work, it is not the point. The point is to understand what actually creates the conditions where someone is willing to collaborate, align with, or be led by another person. If your goal of learning to lead is to get people to put in more effort and hours without further compensation, otherwise known as exploitation, please hit stop on this audiobook. It's probably not for you. Four, with great power. Leadership may present situations that require you to guide people through behavior change. In addressing this idea, there are parts of this book that, through a certain lens, can look like manipulation, and I want to very clearly draw some lines so there is no confusion. A. Absolutely no attempts to initiate change in behavior in another person can be solely for your own benefit. That is manipulation and a misuse of power. B. People must always have the ability to give consent. If they do not, it is coercion. C. People must always be given legitimate choices. If the choices given are not presented honestly and transparently, or are set up to present the illusion of choice, that is still manipulation and coercion. D. No technique in this book should ever be used to intentionally harm another person mentally, emotionally, or physically. Kindness requires you to think about the impact on the other person. Every framework, technique, or suggested use of words or body language in this book is intended to be used in service of creating greater alignment, fostering a spirit of collaboration, and leading with kindness. Use the power you gain through mastery of these techniques to make environments that are kinder, safer, and more equitable. Okay, now let's talk about your bonuses and get you into the audiobook. Included in this audiobook are a bunch of bonuses that were not available at the time that I released the paperback and ebook versions. Start by downloading the accompanying PDF, which includes the cheat sheets found at the end of each chapter, and a workbook for you to use as a tool to grow into a truly lovable leader. Aside from the accompanying PDF, you should definitely go to lovableleader.com slash extras for even more bonus materials. Now, with all of that said, I want to offer you a heartfelt welcome to the Lovable Leader audiobook and one more big word of thanks. Thank you for being here.